Good afternoon. This is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com. It is Saturday afternoon, February 3rd. Thought I'd do a little video here for some people. A lot of people got hurt this week. And part of the reason why is they may have great entry strategies and tactics, but they might not have really good exit tactics and strategies. And it's, it's a huge part of the game. I wanted to cite something. This is an article that I read that I had from years ago. It's from a book called Dr. Uh, it's from Dr. Alex Elder. He's got a really good book called Training for a Living. Bossa, but just got to share this with you. He said this, quote, Beginners pay a lot of attention on entrance, but how you exit is really what determines the trade. You know almost every trade is profitable at some point. There are a few trades that just go bad from the get-go. Even the trades where people lose money have been profitable at some point. How come you didn't recognize it? How come you didn't grab this profit? Entrances are relatively easy. Exits are what separate experts from amateurs. Exits. So we're going to talk a little bit here. Let's just go through a couple of these. This is some Axlis stocks. Apple. Let's suppose you picked up Apple right here, lifting off this base. Went up this day, gaps up and closes near its lows on a pickup in volume. It's a warning sign. It's not saying to sell. It's just saying, hey, watch me. I didn't push away. I didn't push away like I did here. You start developing rules and you start seeing things unfold. Goes up this day, up a little bit on low volume, drops a bit here on a slight pickup in volume, drops down to the eighth day on no volume. This day, you can say, oh, that's a green bar. That's a good day. Something that good investors do is they look at the open, they look at the high, they look at the close and the low. Look at this. The stock gapped up a little bit from the previous day, runs up, and then reverses and closes, actually, even though it closed higher than the previous day's lows, look at where it closed. Closed in the bottom eighth of its range for the day on a pickup in volume. That's selling going on. Does that tell you to panic out? No, we won't do that, but it is a red flag. Something that everybody has to do is constantly look at every bar. We look at price as far as open, high, low, close, and where it opens and where it closes. And we also look at volume. So this day is a red warning flag. Gapped up from the previous day, runs up and reverses and closes near its lows for the day on a pickup in volume. It was met with selling pressure. The next day, it opens basically up just a hair and then proceeds to drop on a pickup in volume. If you had bought this right in here, you're losing the eighth day you don't have any cushion right here, you get out. You get out. You get out here, and guess what? You miss this. There's a plan. That's how you do it. Amazon's just trending on up. Now, this was earnings. This was an earnings day. So, oh, it'd be easy to buy this. Yeah, right. I'll show you an example where it ain't so easy. That's a good trend. That's a very good trend, okay? Avgo, loose as a goose. I have to share another investing maxim with you. When you see wild and woolly action like this, just stay care be careful. Also, it's below, I kind of had a rule, I really key on stuff that's above the rising 50 day. There's exceptions to the rule, but overall I like that. When I start seeing stuff below the 50 day and the 50 day is falling, it's off the list. Alibaba, we bought Alibaba right here. I told people in the VIP site, right here, pick this up. I'm going to show you something here really sweet. Right there. Look at this. Look at that volume. They bought, they voted. People talk with their mouths and they vote with their pocketbooks. By Jove, on that bar right there, they voted. We picked it up right in there. Our average cost is 187 okay? So we picked some up right in here, and we bought more right up here. And average cost of 187 So here we go. Let's go back to it. So you buy it, and it runs up. And I always tell people, we sell some into strength. And some people say, oh, that means you won't get the top. You know who gets the top? Liars get the top. I ain't going to get the top. Give up. I give up on that. That's an ego throw. I got the top. I lose the ego, okay? The market's bigger than all of us. Every stock is bigger than any of us. Just get in line with what is. Goes up, sold a little bit into strength, starts to do this and gets whippy, but it's still above the eight day here, folks. Let's let's go back in time, all right? Like Barney McFly, okay. Still going up, all right? Right there, even on this day, 
Let's, we bought it down here at 187, so we're still okay. We're up 10 points. Now, you don't get lazy. You don't get complacent. We sold some in the strength, and we watch this. The next day, it gaps up. You could sell a little bit more if you want to. Not all of it, just a little bit. Maybe you've got only half your position left. And by the way, you always factor into the equation what the market's doing at the time, okay? So you sell a little bit, all right? And then you get this. And what's it do? It gaps down below the it gaps down below the eight day, and it drops and closes near its lows for the day on the 20 day on a huge pickup in volume. Let's suppose you kept just a little bit. It's above the 20 day. You're still up five points. Let's see what happens. The next day it gaps up and then it drops. See that gap up? Goes up a hair and then it starts to drop. And guess what? We got out of the rest of it right in here. And we took the gain and we made money. We made money up here, made money up here. We sold some here and the rest is gone. That's it. You just run it like a business and it's done. By the way, that's the end. That's what you do. Baidu. I pointed this out in the VIP uh, Mission Winter Feet. Look at See, look at this. Here you go. This is a great example. At first glance, you'd say, oh, that's a good bar. It closed up on good volume. It gapped up, so that's good. And then it ran up big, and then look where it closed. It was met with selling pressure on a pickup in volume. When you see tails like this, I even put this in there, and I told the VIP members, that's high emotion. You kind of steer clear of high emotion, these, these tails like this real right, wide and loose bars, leave it alone, and the stock's rolled over. Caterpillar, we bought this right here, walks up the eight day, held the eight day, sell a little bit up here, gets a little gaps down, falls a little bit, heavy volume. The next day it starts to lose the eight day, you sell a little bit more. The next day it loses the 20 day, and I kept some and didn't sell all of it. Why? You can say, whoa, why wouldn't you sell the rest of it? We well, own it down here, we're going to see if it loses this shelf. Well, you factor market action yesterday into it, the equation, the stock gapped down. See, that's where it closed. The next day it gaps down and it proceeds to fall, loses here. I post it into the VIP feed, selling cat, gone. All right. Facebook. Facebook goes up, runs up, pulls back on less volume. We've got some Facebook. We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll just see. Google. You know, I mentioned about earnings. Amazon was sweet potato pie gapping up. Here's the downside. Google dropped. Dropped about, I don't know, 50 points. There you go, on volume. This is why if you own it, you sell most into strength before earnings. And you can say, oh man, you might miss the big gap up. Oh yeah, and you might catch the big gap down. That's why we sell some. We don't know the future. We get in line with what is. I'm going to stop there. I think that that tells you a lot. Oh, no, here, we got this here. Okay, Goldman Sachs, all right. We had this right in here, ran up, got loose right here. We had a good cushion, still above the 50. We had sold some, runs up, goes up here, walks up the eight day, gaps down a little bit, but closes strong. Yesterday, gaps down, drops, loses the eight day on volume, and I even made a note, sold on volume, done. Take the gain from here up to here. And I have a motto, and I am pretty adamant about it, no round trips. I'm not going to have any round trips. I'm not going to buy something and have it go up and then come back down below my price when I'm up 10, 15 points. I'm just not going to do it. That that It's a cardinal sin for me. So I wanted to share those with you. I hope that helps you. Always monitor price and volume. Entries matter, but guess what? Exits matter more. Exits matter more. You can buy anything, but you've got to manage the trade. So I thank you very much. Take care, have a good night, and we'll be doing some more work for you this weekend. Thank you.